As Russia continues its relentless bombing of Ukraine, where the UN says hundreds of civilians have now been killed, a local woman who emigrated from Russia in 2009 is urging Americans to understand how pervasive propaganda is in Russia. She says with media under total state control, the vast majority of that country believes their soldiers are liberating Ukraine from neo-Nazis and America. Insane feeling when you're going to the uh, cafe or to the gym and you're hearing the news and you're Russian. Elena Bobkova says Russian President Vladimir Putin has taken advantage of Western confusion over his motives for decades. Do you see what happened? He took over Crimea. Everyone... And Georgia before that. Yeah, yeah, and Georgia before that, yeah. So what happened? Everyone expressed concern. But yeah, that's all. So he decided why I can go further. Bob Cover and her family left Russia in 2009, she says, because corruption and repression meant the promise of post-Soviet freedom would never be fulfilled. We didn't expect it what it's now, honestly. <laughs> so it's not even close to that. But uh, even at this time, it was pretty bad. And we decided to choose country for uh, the permanent residency. The tax lawyer and her family settled in Australia before moving to Central Virginia in 2016 when her husband, an IT security specialist, was transferred to Richmond. She says the Putin regime has only become more authoritarian in the decade that followed. Now it's no protest, you know, that uh, people cannot go outside. They cannot gather more than four people. <laughs> they will be arrested. You cannot even pull a uh, white paper. You will be arrested right away. It doesn't matter if it will be something on this paper or not. Bob Kova contacted CBS 6 because she said Americans don't understand that the Russian government's tight grip on information means three quarters of Russians believe the invasion of Ukraine is necessary to rescue that country from American tyranny. United States made Ukraine a fascist, Nazis government country while torturing Russian citizens who is in Ukraine. They truly believe in this because they're showing all this picture, all this video, but they're saying absolute opposite lie. And she says bad news won't change opinion because Putin's propaganda is fed to a citizenry with nowhere else to turn who now doesn't have access to Facebook, to Instagram, so Russian government blocked everything, BBC, CNN, all sources of information. Russian people see the picture where U.S. bombing Ukraine. Bob Kova says the war in Ukraine has exposed an unbridgeable generational divide in Russia that she encounters every time she talks to her elderly parents there. They are listening to Putin propaganda, and I'm desperately trying to explain them. And uh, my mom keeps saying, yeah, yeah, they're bombing, it's American. In the meantime, she says her younger friends and family back home remain at risk. We have sleepless night for two weeks trying to help Russian friends to run away from the country because it will be uh, probably martial law and they will have to go for the war what they didn't choose. Bob Kova also says sanctions will prove most effective when the Russian super rich are denied their luxury goods. She says she hopes Cartier and Ferrari join those no longer doing business with Moscow, saying the so-called oligarchs don't drive Fords and they don't wear H&M.